Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading. Time for the update for the uh, salad bar LED area. And I can show you guys the new drip tray that I put underneath here. So as you'll see in this week's videos uh, for the mid-sized grow tent, I actually put in drip trays underneath all of the different levels. But this one here, I got a special tray and it uh, holds all these 1020 draining trays. It's got little ribs in there to keep it elevated. And in the back, you can see it back there, there's a uh, drain hole that I put in with some tubing right there. You can see that. And there's the tubing back over there. Now when this gets filled with water, it will drain through the trays down into this big tray and then out the back because it's angled backwards. And then that drains into the big five gallon bucket we have over there. And I put enough tubing on here so that way you can actually pull it out. The tubing will stretch up with it. It'll go back when you push it back in. So that'll keep everything going like that. So that's going to keep everything from getting too saturated while it's sitting here. And I flipped these. I did the same method that I did for tra transitioning these from the uh, 1022 uh, trays with no holes versus the ones that have holes. You know, you take the tray that you want to, that you're not going to use, or a spare one, put it on top of here. You flip it, let the plant media fall out, put the new tray on top, and flip it back over, and it transitions without having to have any roots spread apart or fall apart or anything like that. So. Anybody that might want to find that interesting. But uh, I did these yesterday, and so they've all perked back up, and they're looking really good. I mean, this is really full in here. You can see this is the, uh, the beta mix. We're going to be cutting this this week for our salads along with this beta mix over here. The chard has come back pretty nice. You can see this is, we, we did a cut last week on this, and so I usually go every two weeks on this chard. So I'll let these leaves get a little bit bigger, and then we'll harvest these for the next weekend. And then this is one of the first cut trays, and you can see a lot of this is starting to go to seed. This is one of the older ones that we didn't have tagged. So I'm going to probably just selectively harvest some of this, and then I'll just take this tray and toss it on the compost heap. But that's kind of the update for this week for the uh, salad bar LED area. All right, well, this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. Have a good week. All right, bye, guys.